We're waiting for the tumor to get to the right size. This white mouse in a Baltimore lab is helping guide the treatment of a cancer patient near Miami. Part of Eileen UT's tumor is growing in the small rodent. You do what you got to do, you know? Um, you get scared. UT has an aggressive, hard to treat type of breast cancer and is paying a private company, Champions Oncology, to implant her biopsy tumor tissue into mice. It's an effort to reduce the trial and error and wasted time patients can experience in the search for an effective drug. We implant that tumor tissue into a mouse that doesn't have an intact immune system so that we can grow that tumor and then test different drug therapies to be able to predict which drugs are going to work best in a patient. A review of 70 cancer patients found that 70% of the time what had worked in the mice had also worked in people. Conversely, 96% of the time what didn't work in mice didn't work in people either. This is done taking into account many different factors, which truly allows a personalized approach for the patient. But some cancer experts warn the process is highly experimental. There is no evidence the mice lead to better cancer care than that based on medical guidelines or gene tests patients and doctors can use to pick drugs. The mouse testing costs $10,000 or more. Insurance won't cover it. And patients may have to start other therapies while waiting several months for mouse results. We decided to go with the less toxic one because I was going to have one treatment before I'd have the results. So we did that, we got the results, and the less toxic one worked equally to the more toxic one. But she knows there's no guarantee that if it works on the mice that it's going to work on, on me. Still, for now, UT says her customized mice are one of her best bets against breast cancer. Cindy Sharp, Associated Press.